All right. You tired of hearing the word Twitter yet? Tweets. You might want to get used to it. It's going to be around a while, apparently. Yeah. And it could be the newest way for businesses to connect with their customers. Yeah, the social media not only allows immediate outreach, but instant feedback as well, and that can be so very valuable. We're joined now by Marion Salzman, a marketing expert who recently hosted a Twitter tweet up <laughs> with PepsiCo, uh, and you know, really trying to understand this whole Twitter thing. We do it, uh, we have Twitter pages and all of that good stuff, but how can businesses really benefit from it? Well, first of all, you can open up all the walls, get rid of all the barriers. You can speak to people all around the world. They're with you. They're talking to you. Um, there's absolutely nothing that's stopping them from sharing what's on their mind. You can crowdsource questions, get the very best answers from anybody around the world by having them follow you. You toss the question out there, and they're in with you. On behalf of Pepsi, we brought 100 of their top communicators into the room in Brooklyn, New York, and then we opened up the discussion with everybody in the zeitgeist who wanted to join us. 1,700 tweets later, we were amongst the most tweeted event of the day. Wow. I think the second most tweeted. And it was really an open conversation that raised issues about consumer insights, big questions, trends that were impacting the brands, the company, communications, all the new barriers to entry. Are, are we seeing, though, that Twitter has staying power? I mean, you know, it's still fairly new and fresh and people kind of into it, kind of be, can be trendy right now. But mm -hmm. does it have some staying power? Well, what has staying power is the idea that these short status updates allow you to be in touch with lots of people, collect short, instant bits of information by sharing tweet pics, by sharing um, tiny URLs of articles. You can build um, an extraordinary knowledge base without any regard to time or place or geography. And you can spend no money. There's absolutely no constraint based on the size of your company. You can be a small business in Alaska or a large business in Moscow, and you can compete equally. It's all based on brain power. All right, so you're touting the success of it, but let me ask you this. Are there some pitfalls or maybe some dangers when you're using Twitter and associating that with your business? Sure, I mean, one of the dangers is you've got to be on there 24-7, 365, monitoring it, so good luck having any time off. Sure. I mean, you've got to figure out how to outsource yourself and then outsource your outsourced self because somebody's got to be on there uh, really all the time monitoring your brand, monitoring your business, monitoring your activity. There's also a lot of junk out there. I mean, how many times do I really care about who's blow-drying their hair, who's walking the dog? Um, you're going to be followed by lots of people that you don't share anything in common with, and you need to respond to those people with the same level of respect and, and insight that you, with, with the people that are your core customers. So there's lots of building relationships with people that aren't part of your natural constituency. Well, some of these relationships and that building, what are, are how, how many can you point to, or what are the big success stories out there that you could point to of businesses who have benefited from this? Well, I mean, I look at Zappos, the shoe company, and I think, God, there's no place I'd rather buy shoes. I read the, what the CEO tweets about. I look at how they're running their customer service operation over Twitter, and I say, this is a company that so understands me, so understands people that are interested in shoes, that are interested in saving money, that are interested in high style. I mean, they're selling anything from high-end sort of Manalo-style shoes down to sort of flip-flops for, you know, as soon as it gets warm enough to be out there by the pool. And I can sort of have fun and play with Twitter and be part of the new scene, and it's all there. Every new author that's coming out with a book, I, I feel like that book belongs publicized and promoted there. All the new charity, um, you know, fundraising efforts. You know, we've launched Tweet to Remind with um, Bob and Lee Woodruff to raise money for um, their foundation over Memorial Day weekend. Just asking people to put up a dollar or five dollars and send out tweets to support um, wounded warriors. But it, what, what Twitter really does is it's a great equalizer and anybody can participate. So you're seeing all kinds of charities right. really get hey, in Hey, let me too. ask you this really quickly. For businesses out there and people interested, give me some real specific examples of how you can use Twitter effectively. Customer service. Anybody can send a question to you, can comment on your product. You can test an ad, test a new visual, put it out there through TweetPic, and people get right back to you with commentary. All right. That's well, good stuff. All right. Well, me, uh, Marion Salzman, a marketing expert who says this is the wave of the future, Twitter. Marion, so good to have you. Thank you so much. Thank We're going to get to You'll Twittering right now. You'll be tweeting about this afterwards, right? Absolutely. No, we'll look <laughs> forward to those. Okay. Thank you.